Muskegon County to issue an emergency order. Yeah, we find Candace Monticelli live in North Muskegon, where a sinkhole opened up in the middle of the road. Good morning. Good morning. We have moved from that location and now gone to the Muskegon Yacht Club where you can see flooding is clearly a problem. They are working on raising nine of their docks to be able to use for this Memorial Day holiday. And look at the parking lot. I mean, the lake is just coming right in on their parking lot, getting swallowed by the lake waters. Their parking lot should go all the way to that white electrical box. You can see there over by the docks that are just disappearing into Lake Michigan. Take a listen. The high water levels is, is uh, quite a concern for us. We're in the process of raising nine docks along our seawall. Don't pray for rain. No. <laughs> Now, earlier we were on Fenner Road between Green Creek and Buys in North Muskegon, where that massive sinkhole let way. Officials in Muskegon County did declare, though, a state of emergency yesterday as the lakeshore is inundated with water. Yesterday, we saw several homes in the bluffing neighborhood that were swallowed by the lake. And near Mauna Lake, the pumps are going to keep the water out of that neighborhood. But it's a tough time for homeowners in this area who were hit by flooding just only two weeks ago. So the Lakeshore definitely being highly impacted, and you can see that very evident here at Muskegon Yacht Club. I mean, the parking lot, the docks, everything is just almost becoming a part of Lake Michigan. So we'll continue to be here all throughout the rest of the morning. But for now, live in Muskegon, I'm Candace Monticelli, Fox 17 News. All right, hate to see that, Candace, but thank you. And stay with Fox 17 for the latest on flooding in West Michigan. Look for updates on air, online, and our news app.